There are a few Central Asian Shepherd breeders in the United States. As a result, they are fairly rare and quite expensive. You should always do your homework when buying a puppy from a breeder. Don't be afraid to ask questions about the breeder's experience, the puppy's parents, and any other information you want. It is also important to keep in mind that the cost of the puppy does not take into account the cost of keeping the dog healthy and happy. These are very large dogs who need plenty of food which you also need to account for when working out your budget. The ability to think for themselves was essential when surviving on the barren mountains, so these dogs are undeniably intelligent and resourceful. A talented owner will be able to use this trait to their advantage, rather than allowing the dog to manipulate the situation and get its own way. Central Asian Shepherds should be not be kept in apartments and are also not suitable for kennel keeping. Giving them a working purpose or a job is necessary to raise a sensible, well-balanced, healthy dog. Today Central Asians fulfills itself as a shepherd of the family. They love having human company around and do not like to be left on their own for long periods of time. Central Asians are difficult to train but are highly capable of learning. It's just a matter of breaking through that stubbornness. You must do your homework before bringing one of these dogs into your home. Central Asian Shepherd Dog is a challenge that not everyone is up to. Keeping this dog is only feasible with a lot of dog experience, time and patience. They're very costly to keep but are amazing watchdogs. Granny with her 115 kg Central Asian Shepherd. Central Asian should be kept lean to stay functional. Obesity can shorten a dog's life by several years so it's important to keep an eye on their waistline from the word go. These overweight dogs won't be able to perform any actual duties and are just for show. Central Asian Shepherds are known for their high level of intelligence, paired with a fiercely independent streak. This can make them difficult to train. 5-foot granny with her monstrous Central Asian Shepherd. Because of their protective nature, Central Asian Shepherds require a non-stop observance for the life of the dog. The only serious condition Central Asian Shepherds are prone to have is hip and elbow dysplasia. This condition is common in large breed dogs and can be debilitating. This can cause pain and discomfort for your dog and may require surgery to maintain. Because Central Asian Shepherds are prone to suffer from bloat, it is really important that they be fed twice a day, instead of giving them just one larger meal a day. A one-year-old Central Asian male. These guardian dogs have two primary jobs, territory protection and family protection. Central Asian need little to none training to do these jobs. Chasing a fleeing threat results in leaving their wards unprotected so once the threat flees they will rarely go in person. No matter how aggressive or unfriendly your Central Asian is towards strangers, they are extremely gentle and careful with their family's kids. They'll walk with them slowly while making sure not to bump into them. Central Asian Shepherds need high-quality dog food formulated for large or extra-large breeds. When they are puppies they grow very quickly so they need food that helps their bones and joints develop properly. It's better to keep them lean until then. If you are willing to commit the time, patience, and energy to train your Central Asian Shepherd, you will be rewarded with a devoted, irreplaceable guardian. As they grow, they become more independent and develop their protective instincts. This stage requires consistent training to channel their natural guarding abilities. This breed thinks before they act and would rather be asked to do something rather than told. Training methods focusing primarily on compulsion would not be useful. Are you easily intimidated by a giant dog when it challenges you? If your answer is yes then you shouldn't go for these livestock guardians. Only livestock guardian owners know what these challenges are. This breed leave an indelible mark on the hearts of those fortunate enough to experience its remarkable companionship. With a commanding presence and a rich heritage, Central Asian Shepherds stand as a testament to the enduring bond between humans and canines. They are not aggressive without reason. They are discerning in their approach, assessing situations before taking action. A dominant, consistent owner is essential as this breed of dog will constantly attempt to fill the role of top dog in the pack. Famous champions on. Central Asian bond first to its human caretakers, and next with its perceived possessions. Some experts believe that the Tibetan Mastiff is a forefather of this ancient breed. Unfortunately, it's impossible to do anything more than guess the forefather of any dog this old. There wasn't exactly documentation kept about breed history 5,000 years ago. Their dignified demeanor and calm disposition make them suitable for owners that can provide ample space for their physical activity and mental stimulation. Potential owners should be aware of their exercise needs and commitment to training. A unique breed characteristic is that it can encompass a variety of breed types. And thus the temperament of each dog can vary depending on its line. In other words, there are many different types of Central Asian Shepherds out there. Central Asian Shepherds are one of the few breeds considered fearless against almost any opponent and have an instant reaction time. These handsome proud dogs are still thought to be the purest of all breeds. 
having not been interfered with by man to the same extent as many other breeds that are around today. Numerous breed representatives reside in Russia, and local kennel club officials refer the Central Asian Shepherd Dog as one of the most popular dog breeds in the country. Hence Russia is a famous exporter of Central Asians.